Whoopsie. Give yourself 10 points if you know where that's from. Whoops. Obama ordered gun report reveals guns actually save lives. I'm sure they don't like hearing that. In a recent study orchestrated by the CDC and carried out by the Institute of Medicine and National Research Council, it was found that individuals involved in violent crimes who defended themselves using techniques other than carrying a gun were more likely to be injured when compared to those who were carrying a concealed firearm. It goes on to say, the report also reminds us of the numerous causes of gun deaths, citing the, that most gun deaths are at the hands of those who use the gun in suicide, not homicide. So that's for all the people who say, well, if you carry a gun and you're attacked, you're more likely to shoot yourself. Uh, this report says just the opposite. And regardless if you shoot the intruder or the, the mugger or whoever, you know, the person can be scared off by the gun. You may shoot and miss, but you scare the guy off anyway. So uh, I think this is a very uh, great report ordered by the Obama administration. I'm sure it doesn't have the results that they would like to see. And speaking of the Obama administration, 26% of Obama supporters view Tea Party as nation's top terror threat. Yeah, there, that's the one I was talking about, Marco, so I knew you had that one cooking up. Let's take a look right here. A new Rasmussen Reports national telephone survey that finds that 51% of likely U.S. voters consider radical Muslims to be a bigger threat to the United States today. We'll move down to the next paragraph. However, among those who approve of the president's job performance, just 29% see radical Muslims as a bigger threat. 26% say it's the Tea Party that concerns them the most. And this is why we do these, these video game reviews. This is why we do these TV show reviews talking about founding fathers and we hate Paul Revere and Rainbow Six Patriots. They're trying to demonize the Patriots, the Tea Partiers, the Libertarians, the people who don't fit into the left-right paradigm and saying that they're this guy running around there, you know, Osama bin Laden in disguise. And that's what you need to be afraid of. And that's why we report on this stuff. It's just conditioning you to accept the fact that, you know, your neighbor's going to blow up your house because they have a Ron Paul bumper sticker. It's all just conditioning. And remember, remember during the Boston bombing, before they had any evidence, people say, we try to report on stuff without any evidence. During the Boston bombing, without any evidence, no probable cause to say anything, I bet it's those tea partiers. Those tea partiers are up to something. You're going to find out a tea partier blew up the Boston Marathon, and that was not the case, now was it? Now you can watch the InfoWars Nightly News streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.